Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer and in this video we're going to have a look how you can reset and reinstall your Windows 11 PC computer or laptop. Welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to have a look how you can reset and reinstall your Windows 11 desktop computer or laptop and this might be something you want to do uh, if you have problems with your computer right so there's two options here and um, two scenarios where you're going to use this number one you can still log into your machine you can still use it but it's slow there's some issues with it you have some drivers issue you're not sure if you have some malware on your pc um, and all that right um, so you try to fix it but you can't so you decide to do a refresh or you want to give this computer to someone else um, to sell it or give it away and you want to make sure that all your personal data is gone and um, you have a fresh operating system for someone else to use. Number two is your computer doesn't boot anymore. You have some issues with it, some driver problems probably or some system files which are corrupted um, and we're going to have a look at how you can reset these machines in both ways. We're going to start with the normal experience first and then I'm going to show you how you can do that if your computer doesn't start up or boot anymore or you can't log into the machine anymore. So let's dive in. So here we have our Windows 11 machine. Uh, if I go here into the start menu and I go to settings, I can see here that if I'm going to my system settings, which is the basically default page, everything comes up. If I scroll down, I have a menu item here called recovery. So if I hit recovery, um, I'm coming here in the recovery page. Now, I have to say that like if you're having issues with your computer and you want to get them fixed, there's also another option here, uh, which allows you to run different types of troubleshooting uh, tools to make sure you can fix these problems. Now, however, if the problem can't be fixed, or again, you wanna give your computer away to someone else, then reset this PC is the right option. So you can hit reset, and then you can basically go and say, uh, choose between these two options, right? So there's one, one option, the first one is keep my files. So that removes the apps and the settings, basically your fresh operating systems, but it keeps your personal files on the machine. So this is really if you have issues, but you wanna keep the machine and your files, um, that's one option. The other option is like remove everything, meaning that like you really get a fresh install, everything is gonna be removed. That's also the option you wanna choose if you wanna give the machine to someone else. Now, in both cases, please make sure that you actually have a backup of your Windows 11 machine or basically of the data you want to back up. So you can do that either on a local drive, a share, or for example, use uh, OneDrive to store your files in the cloud. But just make sure, even in both cases, that you always have a backup, right? You should also have a backup anyway, in general, just to be sure if there's something wrong with the machine. Now, in our case, we're gonna choose now, remove everything, uh, because that is also the option you would choose if you wanna give the computer to someone else, um, or if you store your uh, files, for example, on OneDrive, then you will easily be able to recover these files who are on, which are on OneDrive um, on that machine. So, remove everything, uh, and then you get two other options, which says the first one, cloud download. Um, so it really downloads a fresh image um, from the cloud. So meaning that if you have corrupted system files and so on, um, these will um, uh, be overwritten basically by that cloud image. The other option is to do a local reinstall. And that's good if that uses the local um, system files you already have. Now, this is good, especially if you don't have internet connectivity or your internet connectivity is pretty slow or you don't have additional space for data, right? Uh, you can do that. But for us, we are now gonna choose the cloud download option. And then again, it tells me in a short overview what we're gonna do. So we're gonna remove apps, files, um, but we do not, with this, we do not clean the drive. And I will talk about that in just a bit. And then it will download and reinstall Windows and it calculates that it leads probably for more than four gigabyte of data. We will have a better estimate of what, it, uh, what that data is gonna look like in just a bit. But let's have a look at the other settings we can actually change. 
So if we go here to change settings, you can see here it, the download option is already selected. But then it asked me also, do you want to clean the data? Now, I already said that like I don't want to keep any files, but there's two options. So if I say no, it will just remove the files, which is quicker. But obviously, if someone has some tools to restore deleted files, you will be able to do that. Uh, if you want to give this compute to someone else, you want to make sure you hit here the yes button that you can actually uh, have a clean setup. It removes, it cleans the drive um, and it will make it harder to recover these files, right? So uh, in my case, I'm going to keep the machine that we also select the faster option here. Um, so I'm going to select that. Um, again, we're going to keep it. I can use that. And then I hit confirm. I hit the next button and this would go now and check a couple of settings if I can go out and download um, the specific files here. Um, and that gives me a summary of what's going on and how much uh, data I'm going to, to use. So again, it says, okay, PC is ready to be resetted. Um, reset will remove all my personal files, my user accounts on this PC. It will remove all the changes made to settings. It will remove all my apps and programs and it will download and reinstall Windows. And it takes a couple of notes here. Um, this will take obviously a while and it will restart your PC a couple of times. And then obviously the download can use more than like almost three gigs uh, of data in my case here. Uh, again, this might be different depending on, on what version you have installed and how your machine looks like. So then I hit the reset button and this will start the download process. Download the image. This will take a while. Again, depends on your uh, internet connectivity. And then it will start installing your, um, uh, reinstalling your Windows 11 operating system and then from there on you will get a fresh um, new user experience you will go through the setup process again so you will need to choose um, which location is the computer based on which time zone should it use uh, what's your um, login account and so on so we let we would let this run usually and then we could just basically go and um, after that use that machine set it up as a new machine and so on. Now there's another case where you don't even can log in to, to your machine anymore, right? So you don't can get to the settings app um, because of like something is not running, your machine boot doesn't boot anymore. So there's an option to go in something what you call advanced startup. And that's, that's pretty simple. So let's have a look at that as well. So when we cannot uh, boot our machines anymore, um, what we can do is during the startup process, we can hit the left F11 button on your keyboard and this will bring you to the advanced startup menu. Now, uh, there's also op other options to get here. You can do quick research on how the, what the different uh, possibilities are. But then when you, once you are in that menu, um, you have different options. So if I hit continue, uh, that I would do if that was, for example, a mistake, that would just then boot Windows 11 normally. Um, I can also then use devices, uh, USB devices, network connections, or uh, recovery DVDs, if you still have a DVD drive, um, to basically um, uh, reinstall software or whatever I want to do. And then I can also hit the troubleshoot section, and in that one we have some advanced troubleshooting tools we can use, or we can reset this PC, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. So if I hit reset, again, I can choose between keeping my files or removing everything. Uh, so in our case, we obviously want to have a fresh, clean PC here. So we're gonna remove also the personal files. Um, and then we're also gonna choose now again, if we wouldn't do a local uh, reinstall, again, this is great. If I don't have any network connectivity or anything, um, I would do a local reinstall. If I have network connectivity and I have like I can download, I can use a cloud download, which has again the advantage that I get a fresh operating system image directly from the cloud. So I'm going to choose that one. And then this will obviously, uh, again, give me a little bit of a summary, uh, what it will do and gather the data and calculate uh, how much space it's going to need. It will also ask me again if um, I want to just remove my files or do a clean uh, drive. Again, um, doing a clean drive will take a little bit more time uh, than that, but that would also allow me 
to give that machine to someone else, right? So if I do a reset uh, because I want to sell my machine, definitely do a full clean of the drive. So I'm going to select that. Uh, again, going to do some calculations if everything is correct and if like I can, I can finally do that before I hit that reset process of my Windows 11 computer here. I get a short summary again. It asks me, hey, is that what you actually want to do? Because that would now remove all personal files and accounts on this device. This will also remove any changes made to the settings, remove all apps and programs uh, that didn't come with that PC, and then it will download and reinstall Windows. So that is absolutely great. So I'm going to do that and say reset. And this, as you can see, will start now the downloading process. Now, don't make no mistake, if you have a computer and you set like go into advanced startup mode, you want to make sure that you're somehow connected through the network, right? So uh, if you have a laptop, maybe in that case, Wi-Fi didn't work that way, you're not connected. So use a Ethernet cable, for example, uh, to connect to that network. So those were two ways of how you can actually uh, reset and reinstall your Windows 11 machine from the cloud. I hope this video was helpful. And if you liked that video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully see you in the next one.